This is one of the most addressed topics here in the Philippines because we are often asked, Makano is an panel chakabatari. So before we provide a hybrid solar solution, that is how we call a solar system connected to a solar battery, to our clients, we really, really have to wisely educate them about the benefits and also the disadvantages of a solar battery system. To make it short, if you are connected to the grid here in the Philippines, no matter where you are, I personally do not recommend a hybrid solar system. I recommend a fully automatic grid-tight solar system with net metering that sells excess solar energy to the local utility instead of storing it into your battery. Before I explain you why, I want to explain you quickly how a hybrid solar system works. Your solar system gets installed and gets connected to a solar battery. During the day, the solar system fuels the battery with solar energy and during the night, for example, the solar battery supplies the energy to your appliances. You get more independent from your local utility and you, of course, save money. But that looks, let's look at the facts why I recommend a grid-tight net metering solar system if you have grid available. First of all, it's the investment. Professional solar battery, and I'm not talking about car batteries, I'm talking about a professional, for example, lithium ion based solar battery, is still quite expensive. In general, it makes a solar system at least 30 to 50% more expensive, and it can go up to 200% more expensive because you have um, that investment for the battery. Your solar system in general has to be sized a bit larger because you have a steady consumption in your building that needs to be covered with solar energy. So you have to have excess solar energy to fuel it into your battery. And there are maintenance. Your solar battery, no matter how high quality it is, can only supply you energy for let's say 8 to 12 years and then you have to replace it. But due to the fact that your hybrid solar system already gets so much more expensive, your return on investment goes up to more than 10 years. And if you have to replace your battery after let's say 8, you do not even have one return on investment because there is no return, because you have to exchange your battery once you get your money back for the investment. A grid-tight solar system works fully automatic. The only thing that gets changed is your meter. So let's look a bit on the technical things. If one kilowatt hour of solar energy is worth 10 pesos, that's approximately the average, actually it's a bit more in the Philippines, and it gets stored into a solar battery, a solar battery, no matter how good it is, can only supply you approximately 70% out of this one kilowatt hour stored into it out to your appliances because of natural physical losses. Let's evaluate it with pesos. That's around 7 pesos. 70% of 10 pesos. The local utility with net metering pays you around 5 to 5.5 pesos for everything that you sell back to the grid instead of storing it into the battery. The difference is you don't have an investment cost here. Right? Because the, the only thing that gets changed is your meter. And third is that the system in general is a bit more sensitive. A battery needs additional space, it needs not a cooled room, but it cannot be too hot because most of the very good solar batteries are only made for, let's say, 50 to 60 degrees temperature and they perform at its best at around 30, but we beat that easily here in the Philippines. So. Under the line, it is more efficient and with a very nice ROI to have a grid tight net metering solar system that has an ROI of around 4 to 8 years in comparison to a hybrid solar system. But if you are in a rural area and you do not have electricity, ROI should not be the main topic, it should be having electricity. So a battery system makes sense. So think wisely before you want to purchase a hybrid solar system here in the Philippines and let yourself educate from a very, very reliable and professional solar company.